Hey everyone, Barantos here. So I want to do a quick video on this because this is probably the last night I am owning this shotgun. I am getting rid of it tomorrow um, through a sale. But basically I want to go over some things, some good, some bad, you know, uh, kind of the ugly with this, which is the Mossberg, Mossberg 940 JM Pro. So this is kind of the upgrade from the 930 which this is like the Jerry Michalik uh, shotgun. Uh, this is the Pro Series with the 9 plus 1 tube on here. Um, this is the tungsten finish with kind of the gold accent. It's a pretty snazzy looking shotgun, uh, I'm not going to lie. So to go over some of the features. So it comes with three different chokes and they're these nice kind of screw in ones. You don't need a tool or anything for them. So just to show you kind of what this looks like, you get three chokes. Ooh, a lot of more threads than I remember. So you get three chokes in here. See, this one's got a little bit of gunk on it yet. Um, I've pretty much only taken a sh shotgun trap shooting. Um, I never really got into competition the way that I was hoping with this rifle. Uh, so this is the modified choke that's in here right now, I believe. So you can just screw these in without a tool. It's got a fiber optic front sight on it. That's like, if I can try to get a good view on this, it's actually a triangle when you look at it. So you can use the tip of that triangle to aim with things. It, there's no rear or anything like that to line up. You know, you just look down the the top of the shotgun put the triangle on things and let it rip uh like most bossbergs it has the safety up here on top this shotgun is clear by the way to show everyone that so you can see it locked open uh this button is for like sending that action forward it's got a pretty carved out bottom here uh so you can load relatively quickly it, you know, when in competition where you have to do those quick loads. Um, so yeah, it, it's accurate. I, I shot decent trap with it. Uh, I think I went like 23 out of 25 last time. So it, it's, it's an accurate shotgun. I have had issues with it though. And that's kind of what I wanted to cover. So there's a couple things. Um, one, when I first got it, it would only fit like three rounds in the tube. And then I figured it out. This tube screws in, and so does this. This little um, kind of like ring to hold it on is also screwing. So if you what if you tighten this just a little too much, this tube, it binds up the magazine spring. So that magazine spring doesn't go the full length, and it gets caught like right here. So you can only load a few rounds in here and you can't actually fill the whole thing. And I found that like, you know, uh, after cleaning it a few times and things like that, that it's really easy to over tighten this. Like, I mean, hand tightening it will do it. Um, so it's not anything extreme that you have to do that it, it got really finicky with this magazine tube. So there were some issues there that I experienced. The other thing, so if you can get a good look at this, this wobbles. There's a lot of wobble, a lot of play. And you can kind of see it right there. Like it's too wide for the screw or the screw like drove through it or something. But after shooting this, this wobbles now. Not a great look. It's not a deal breaker. But to get that screw out too, like I'd have to buy a whole other sight because it's it's not the screw's fault. It's the actual mount here of the fiber optic. So with how little I've used this shotgun as well as like, I haven't really put it through any abuse. The fact that this is already like that, it's kind of concerning. Uh, not a big fan of that. The other thing is, is I'm not gonna take this thing apart because it is, absolutely awful to put this thing back together there's rings there's coils there's springs there's everything flies out of the shotgun when you take it apart um 
there's like a little ring in here that isn't even in the manuals. Like it's just a, like a crush washer that isn't even in the parts manuals that I found it laying on my garage floor for a while. Shot the shotgun fine without it, but uh, you know, it's something that might help this stay tightened a little bit better or something like that, but it's not in the manual. I, I looked in every parts diagram I could, that crush washer wasn't in there, but it definitely came on the shotgun and fits this. So uh, yeah, it, it's a lot of parts in there. They're really annoying to put back together. Uh, it gets pretty dirty, you know, uh, it, it's, it gets dirtier than you'd want, quicker than you want. And, you know, like they even said, you know, like Lena and Jerry have said, like this shotgun needs to be pretty clean to run well. So you can't, I'm sure it runs better than the 930, which had issues, you know, in humidity and things like that. And they've worked around that with some different uh, gas systems inside of here with the 940. But it still needs to be pretty clean to run well. And with the issues that I've had just shooting trap, I wouldn't want to run this in competition. I feel like it would just be, you know, hit or miss. It'd be a roll of the dice. Am I going to have a good day or a bad one? So, you know, it's finicky. That That's that's the best way I can put it. It's definitely finicky. Um, and it, it's not a lot of fun to disassemble which is something you have to do on a regular basis to keep this thing running great. So one thing, you know, it wasn't a big deal with me. I, I'm just using the stock parts, but there are a lot of different like stock options it comes with as well. So you can extend this, you can kind of cant it depending on how you want things. So if you want to can it a little bit so that it gets closer to your cheek on one side or something like that, you can do that with this. They offer a lot of spacers with the shotgun. Um, so you can definitely customize it. I, I just, if, if you're gonna get a competition shotgun, you need something that runs reliably. And like with the issues that I've had, this ain't it, you know? Um, I would look maybe towards a Beretta, a Benelli. I, I would love to see like a uh, Browning on their new A5s make a competition model because those things uh, seem to be running like Swiss watches. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm thinking of picking one of those up down the road and maybe having someone modify it for competition. But yeah, I, I wouldn't go with this shotgun. Uh, I get it has some looks. It has, you know, uh, the celebrity pedigree behind it. Uh, there was a lot of hype around this when it first came out. And also this is, you know, top, kind of toted as like a, a beginner competition shotgun because the price tag on these is pretty reasonable. I want to say they can be had for a 950, um, which is a lot better than, you know, you're looking at 1500 on some of the Berettas or maybe 2000 even like those Remington Versas are, are, getting up there as well in price so it, it's your cheaper option but there's there's a trade-off with that you know it's it's not going to be something that you you can count on all the time it's not going to be something that disassembles well and it's not going to be something that's even durable you know with like this front sight so i would give this shotgun probably a four out of ten like when it's running it runs good it's accurate you can hit things with it but it's too finicky to recommend it to anyone so uh if you have any experience with this and want to know anything more uh please feel free to leave a comment but like i said i'm pretty much getting rid of the shotgun tomorrow all right thank you take care